Hello summoners and welcome to another episode of Pro Guides' is Best Champions to Main, now on patch 12.12. .12. The champs we pick for this series are strong picks with high performance but have low, low ban rates and are unlikely to be nerfed anytime soon. They are reliable picks for climbing and are worth investing your time in. We also have a series that covers the most broken contested picks in each role, so be sure you're subbed to the channel so you don't miss out on when we post those as well. We'll be starting things out in the top lane with Sejuani. When she first popped up a few months ago as an off meta pick, we figured she'd catch on and become a super popular pick in the role, but she's remained a pretty rare sight, but when she is played, she has a pretty high success rate. Her kit feels kinda clunky, but what do you expect from someone swinging a flail while riding a giant boar? Clunky or not, it makes for a powerful wrecking ball of a champ able to go head to head with even the strongest duelists when you play her right. If you're tired of being stuck in your current elo, the first step to climbing is fixing your champion pool. That's why we make these videos, so you can find the right champ or champs for you. After you decide on what you're going to play, you then have to learn how to play it right. It can take many, many games to learn a new champion, but you don't have to spend days and weeks doing it alone. Our top tier coaches over on ProGuides.com can help you figure out exactly what you need to work on. They're available 24-7, so it's never a bad time to come try one out. I promise there is at least one that specializes in exactly what you're looking for. These guys have spent years reaching the top of the ladder, so why wouldn't you want to steal all their solo queue tips and tricks? Find the link to our website down in the description box below. Now let's get back on topic. The second top lane pick we have is Zac. Yep, we're following a pattern here. These are two former junglers, still good junglers, but like Sejuani, he's a tank that doesn't just farm until team fights. He has a pretty good amount of healing from his passive and does good damage over time in extended trades, so you're able to constantly scrap with your lane opponent and eventually win the sustained battle. Post lane, you want to take advantage of his long range engage to make picks and start fights as much as you can. His major selling point is that he's more than just a CC bot. While he does plenty of that too, what really makes him scary in fights is just how much damage he puts out. It's very possible to solo kill a backline carry that doesn't get peeled from their team within a single combo. The last top laner we have is yet another jungler who has a higher win rate when played up here. It's Warwick. His passive makes him a ridiculously strong fighter, especially early on. The lower you get, the more you heal. That combined with the burst of healing from his Q and running barrier means you can usually very easily bait opponents into fights. Warwick isn't exactly a new champion, but you'd be surprised how many people fall for that since it's not too common to see him top. The build we have is the standard go-to for a mix of super strong dueling and tankiness for when it's time to group up, but you can make adjustments as needed. For example, if you're laning against a fat tank or a beefy juggernaut, go Divine Sunderer over Sunfire to make sure you can bully them hard in a side lane later on. Taking a look at our junglers, the first pick is Nunu. After back-to-back -back buffs on 12.10 and 12.11, the old king of the jungle is back as one of the best picks in the role. The E change on last patch is specifically what pushed him over the edge into being a really strong pick again. After Nunu rolls into a fight and uses his combo, he usually just sort of skates around and doesn't do much. It just left a real awkward lull in doing anything. But with 4 seconds being taken off his E's cooldown at max rank, you're able to be quite a bit more disruptive. Rammus has pretty much always been a good choice for a solo queue. His ability to consistently make picks without any hard to use mechanics just works super well in an environment where teams aren't always the most coordinated. And with tank items getting buffed last patch and multiple other strong picks being hit with nerfs left and right, Rammus is the strongest he's been in a long time. The third jungler for today is Shivana. I have heard more than one person say they thought Shivana got hit hard by the durability patch, but honestly, I have no idea where that's coming from. She's doing just as well, if not better, since scaling picks are a lot more consistently able to actually scale now that games aren't as snowball-y. Now for the mid lane, the first pick we have is Rumble. Try as they may to make him work as a top laner, everything they do just makes him more OP in this role instead. 
his win rate is just consistently 4 or 5% higher here. Against any melee foe, anytime they move up to farm, you bully them with his hard hitting trades. When dealing with ranged foes, you use his ability to melt minions to quickly shove the wave and then go for a roam. It may sound too easy to be true, but honestly, that's about all there is to abusing this champion. The only hard thing is learning to cast his ult the right way, but that's what practice tool is for. Our second mid laner is Anivia. You won't be quite as proactive on the map compared to Rumble, but that's okay. With Anivia scaling, you don't need to make any big plays early on to carry games. There are plenty of scaling picks where your main goal is just to farm and survive the early game, but Anivia does it a lot easier than other champions. The first few levels, you rely mostly on your Q stun and wall to stay safe, but post 6, you can completely neutralize just about any lane with her ult instantly melting wave after wave. The only rule with her is to not be baited into dumb fights early. If you can avoid doing that, you're golden. Today's final mid laner is Swain. His mid scope update turned him into an absolute monster and the durability patch made him even more broken than he was before. Riot gave him some decently sized nerfs, but he's still one of the strongest picks in the game. You just can't beat a mage that does ridiculous damage while also healing so much that it feels like you're trying to DPS down a full build tank. His only weakness is that he's definitely really weak without his ult. But since the mid scope update made that window a lot smaller in the mid and late game, it's pretty easy to play around it. Moving things down to the bottom lane, the first pick we have is Seraphine. We've mentioned it probably dozens of times at this point, but if you're trying to play her as a support, just stop. She's so much better as the one taking farm bot lane. There is a reason her win rate is always at least a few points higher this way. She's a super hard scaling champion, so obviously you want her to be farming to reach those item spikes. The second pick we have is Miss Fortune. While MF very rarely sees direct buffs or nerfs herself, her win rate is constantly up and down as she ebbs and flows with the changes to other marksmen. And right now, she's doing better than she has in quite a few months. She's a strong lane bully that doesn't need to actually go in hard for trades like you would with other strong early picks like Draven and Lucian. Lower risk playstyles will always net more consistent rewards. I've always felt that any caster that builds lethality is kinda cheesy. They tend to do most of their damage from far away, either poking really hard like Varus used to, or just melting entire teams like MF can with a single press of the R button, all out of reach of the enemy team. And that brings us to today's question of the day. How do you feel about lethality AD carries? Let us know whether you think they are toxic to the game or just bring some extra variation in a healthy way down in the comments below. I must add that while Misfortune does not build lethality for this build, I think AP Misfortune, support, mid or carry, that is unhealthy to the game. I detest playing against that one and I hope that you can keep your lethality if you can get rid of the Misfortune Leandri's Comet build. But that's enough of my rambling, let's move on to the last bot lane carry pick which is Heimerdinger. He's actually been struggling for a few patches, but in the last couple, he's picked up the pace and become pretty good again. And now Riot is shipping a buff for him on 12.12, .12, so we think he'll actually be pretty broken. The build listed gives you super high damage against squishy targets, but if the enemy team is tanky, feel free to completely swap your core over to Leandri's and Demonic Embrace. You'll absolutely melt beefy frontliners that way. Just be sure to get Void Staff done ASAP in that case. Now for our supports, the first pick we have is Taric. We actually predicted he'd be really OP after the durability changes, but he hit the ground face first after the changes with his win rate actually plummeting. But we'll chalk that up to a hard learning curve cause now he's doing super well. The second support we have is Bard. Right away, you probably noticed that this rune setup is not the normal bard page. The reasoning for that is that this is for a very aggressive, heavy roaming style where you're constantly skirmishing with your jungler and mid laner. If you're a more passive player, feel free to still run the classic guardian setup. Finishing off our list, we have Vel'Koz. His ability to both clear waves and dish out heavy poke makes him a pick that can pretty much solo win most lanes, making life much easier for your AD carry during the laning phase. 
But he's not just a poke mage that throws out a pop shot here and there. Post 6, he becomes a pretty scary all-in champ as well, with his full combo easily being enough to nuke down the target from full HP if you can find it. Since his E can be a bit hard to land on its own, it helps a lot when you're paired with someone like Ash or Jin that can help you set up. And folks, that is it for our top 3 champions to main on 12.12. .12. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe so you never miss out on our meta guides and so you're always in the loop on what the best picks are. Remember, let us know how you feel about lethality AD carries or poke like the misfortune down in the comments below. And one last thing, don't forget to check out our Discord in the description box below where you can discuss League further or just hang out and be a part of our community. I can't wait to see you guys back for the next video but until then, good luck on the rift and may the LP God smile down upon you.